Hello friends, welcome back to Genuine Core YouTube channel. This is another video of Java FX Library Management System Development Tutorial Series. In the last video, we have completed this graph for this book ID that shows total books and issued books. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, one more graph, one more chart here regarding the member. So the chart data will be uh, the number of members who are enrolled in this library and number of members that are having uh, currently having some books with their hands you understood number of members and number of members having the book so you know uh, in order to achieve that first we have to do the database part just like before only this part will be different from last tutorial because uh, implementing the graph is very much similar so we need an observable list of pie chart data that also okay then here instead of book graph statics i need member graph statics then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch number of members from the database which is very simple as like that. Then here I want to count the number of issue, not, not just uh, count star. I need distinct, distinct member ID. So what this means is in the inside issue table, whenever there is a book issue, a new row will be added inside this issue table. Uh, issue table. So what happens is uh, why I am using distinct member ID is suppose we give two books to a member then there will be two entries in the table issue table. So if we use this distinct member ID it will count the unique member ID that is present inside this issue. Uh, if whenever a book is issued it will be added into the issue table so we can get the issue count from there. So so far that's the only change and then here we have to change the label so total members then members with books that's all execute query one execute query two so query two is select distinct member so that's the database part we have completed that within a minute or something now we are coming back to main controller we have to do something here so we have a book chart along with that we need one more chart that is i'm going to name it as something like the member chart then we have to add one more stack pane here so just like what we did there so this is our vbox i am going to wrap that inside a stack pane so what is that pane yeah stack pane is there then i am going to name the stack pane as member info container because this container contains the member information so coming back here in the member chart here i have a book chart then similarly i have to add one more line here so that will will be instead of mem book chart i will add member chart then here it will get not book statistics but it will take member graph statistics so that is the problem with the function you get member graph statistics then here we have to add along with book chart we have to add pie chart also so now this will uh, no not pie chart we need to add member chart so far so good this will load our um a chart a second chart so there is already an instance running let me close it first uh please close okay as you see root so you can see that i added it in the same container so it is not book info container it is member info container uh let's check member info container so i haven't created this I have made the controller so make controller then member info container so we have member info container right now i'm going to save this then let us run the program again so gc root and as you can see we got this chart members with books and total members here so far so good uh, it is working and what is this okay that came into next slide so i am going to align the code and we have to do something else here so if i type b100 here then these things are kind of uh, messed up i mean uh, it's on the same layer so what we have to do is when we type b100 here we have to hide the graph similarly when i type some member id here i want to hide this so let's uh, uh, do, uh, check what we can do here so first of all i'm going to write a method here private void hide graphs so here i will hide the graphs so what i will do is 
uh, uh, or uh, I can just use enable disable yeah here I will take a boolean variable so boolean status so if I want to enable I will set true so if status is true which means I want to enable the graph then I will set the opacity to 1 so I have two charts so book chart is there and member chart is there so book chart dot set opacity and I am going to set that opacity to 1 then again uh, along with the book chart I need member chart then if the status is false I mean uh, which means I want to disable it these are my convention only if you are doing this on your own you can change this according to your need I mean according to your uh, way of programming so this is zero then zero so what this will do is if I send false the, it, it will hide the graphs <coughs> then if I want to so enable disable graph but there is one more problem um, I want to disable these things uh, as separately because if I press B100 there, then I want to hide this uh, and when I press 100 here or uh, we can go with this because anyway if you are entering data here we will be entering data here also so enable disable graph <coughs> then what we have to do is uh, we have to call that from when we call load book info here I will do it so here first we will clear the book cache here we will disable the graph so false this will hide the both graphs then here instead load member info i will call it again so it will uh, just uh, enable disable graph so it will just disable the graph then after an issue success or failure whatever it is we have to do it so we can put that here inside clear issue entry so what we can do is we can call this enable option so so uh, or simply we can set inside this we can check it so what we are actually doing is we are removing the data from the ui i mean the uh, book info book name book order etc so if you are removing this then we can hide show the graph so uh, who are calling this method clear issue entry is one that has to be displayed simple logic so we can use enable disable graph and i am going to enable that so let's check the program So I'm uh, using my credentials then now we have these two then <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to type b100 here now that is gone both of them are gone then 100 so that part is okay now after issue operation I mean whether that book available so now uh, if I cancel that it is coming just fine so I, I will try issue in one book it is not available 101 available 100 then I am going to issue that book yes now after issue operation we are getting this one now the last thing that we have to do is refreshing this one uh, regarding the refreshing part i thought about implementing uh, a separate thread that uh, continuously refresh in every 30 seconds or something but that is very costly i mean if the program is running ideal then there is a lot of uh, database operations so uh, let's do some work around for the refreshing so in order to add the refresh uh, i'm going to write one more method private void refresh graphs so here the process is very simple refreshing means fetching data from database again so what i'm going to do is uh, first i need a first graph which is member chart so member chart dot set data and here i am going to fetch data from that uh, data base handler so database handler dot get books statistics then here one more method get member graph statics i made a typo here get member graph statics so let me just refactor it uh, member member so so far so good then here we have member chart here i am going to set that to book chart so book chart uh actually it's for update right yeah so here it should be book chart and here it should be member chart so this uh, when i call this refresh graph we will fetch data from database and it will be refreshed so far so good then here instead init graph what i'm going to do is when i click on this tab book issue tab I mean when I go to re renew submission and come back from somewhere I just want to 
refresh so i am uh, defining one or two cases for refreshing so first book issue tab is there so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to add a listener to book issue tab so book issue tab dot set on selection change so this will be called when we click on either of the uh, what either of the tabs so then what i'm going to check is if the book issue if someone is coming from the second tab to first tab so i can check that with the book issue tab dot is selected so this will be executed only when we are coming back from the second so refresh tabs so that's the first case we will refresh the graph when we go away from the uh, uh, tab and come back so let me uh, just show you that what i meant so uh, if i go here then come back then we will refresh it so that's the first case then if we do something like uh, a book issue in the main page then we will call the refresh tab so go into the book issue section where is the book issue load book info load issue operation and we have to change this only if it, the book issue is success right yeah we just don't want to refresh it for the other cases so i'm going to call this refresh graph so that's all we want now we will have to call this once we add a new book or add new member but we have in the uh, completed the material designing for the ad book and mem uh, ad member etc so i will do that in the upcoming videos and once i do i will call this refresh method using some callback or something so uh so it will refresh when i come back from the or if i issue some books so b100 is not available b101 is not available uh what are the books available in my library so book list there is b100 so out of those two books everything is issued so that's it and now i just want to delete this so what i'm going to do is if i type b100 here it is available here then i want to do submission so yes please pre-submit it okay then uh, there is one more issue the problem is uh, if i come back from the then if i type something like b100 then i cannot clear this entry so there has to be a way to do this right yes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more listener here so whenever i click here or somewhere else uh, here uh, what i want is i want to refresh the end uh, main dashboard so let's do that so in order to do that refreshing part all i have to do is to do that coding part here so i think i can use this clear entry method so let's go to check clear entry section and no this is for uh <coughs> only renew submission so we have to use this uh clear issue entry so we can use that so clear issue entries so what I'm going to do is I am going to call this clear issue and is here. Then let me run the program once again. GC root. Then if I press B100 or something, then I go back and come back. Then we have the table. So that's it, guys. That's the end of this graph part. Now our UI is pretty much okay then uh, in the upcoming videos i will do with this uh, ad member ad book etc materializing these things so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos